And Amar Khan joins us now. Why did you want to do this story? I think the reason I wanted to do this story was because every time we get an opportunity to cover homelessness in the city, we're spending about an hour, maybe two hours, with the, the people themselves. But I don't think that's the proper way to do it. Being outside for 14 hours, I really got to see every single moment and I got to capture it and experience it and it really gave me a sense of who he was as a person and what he's about. And what surprised you most about that experience? Uh, how cold it was but how open Winnipeggers are to allowing people to come in and catch a moment where they can warm up. There were some grocery stores, um, you know, the health center, the churches, uh, the University of Winnipeg, Subway, a, a bunch of different locations, and all the employees there, all the managers there, were more than willing to let somebody come in for, you know, five minutes, an hour, two hours, whatever it might be, and let them come in and, and catch their breath. But, you know, other than that, um, he himself, surprised me. Mr. Thunderman, he blew me away with his kindness and how much he did for other people with his lack of resources. So it only made me imagine what he could do if he was equipped. What do you mean? Well, the, the, in some instances when he got food from say Agape or um, you know the United Church, he would take that food and he wouldn't he wouldn't eat it, he would put it in his bag, and the reason why he would always take it is because he could hand it out to other people on the streets, people who might be more needy than him. Uh, there's a musician uh, in the Skywalk where he gave her toaster strudels, cans of pop, you know, all this kind of food, and all he said was, hey, are you hungry? And there you go. He, he opened his bag and let her have whatever she wanted. He sounds like a great guy and he certainly took action when that man was bleeding. That must have been shocking. Yeah, it was very unexpected. Um, it was kind of something that stands out in my mind and it showed the kind of character that he, he had because where we were there was people driving by, there was people walking by us and they saw the man bleeding but not one other person stopped to help him and he ran inside you know took care of him and then we took a 15 25 minute walk with his luggage in tow and he took him all the way to misericordia health center which you know is, is not a small feat and then waited there with him until they finally called an ambulance and that just shows uh, some exceptional character what did the nurse say you had told me after you got back <laughs> in that night yeah the nurse told us who did this and i pointed mm -hmm at Whitehorse and she said, um, she goes to me, he might have just saved his life. By applying, applying pressure applying and getting pressure, medical help. Yeah, and, and putting the bandages on. And he's no medical professional. He did this because he felt it was the right thing to do and someone needed to help this guy. He sounds like such a nice man. Does he have future plans or hopes? Well, he does. So when we were um, on the free bus, we came back to the Balmoral bus station, which is right across the University of Winnipeg. As we're there, he looks across and says, that's a place of education that I could go to. I want to go and get my psychology degree. And with that, I want to become a social worker. I want to help people up north. I want to be equipped with resources to actually make a difference. And that was kind of ironic because in the situation that he's in, all he can think about is helping other people. That is a lesson for all of us, isn't it? So thank you so much for sharing your story Thanks. and introducing us to this nice man. Thank you. Amar Khan tonight.